Despite giving excellent performances, the performers aren't given much space to work with, so the fast pace is the only redeemable quality of the picture. Now we can wait to find out what happens in Searing Betrayal and if our heroine manages to identify the killer. Can you tell me what became of Ko and Bobby? Ko and Bobby had planned to tie the knot after being together for a long time. As the big day approached, Bobby couldn't contain her excitement and was busy making last-minute preparations for her wedding. Thiago, a mutual acquaintance of Ko and Bobby, was instrumental in the recent success of their import business. Even though there were some bumps along the road, Ko always found a solution and kept the business profitable. According to Ko, who informed Bobby that he was summoned to testify in a money laundering case involving one of their clients, Marigold Constructions, the matter wasn't very serious, and that he was simply being summoned to the prosecutor's office. There was no reason for her to distrust him, and Bobby loved him. He was the one she had chosen to spend the rest of her life with, and she trusted him with all her heart. It was pretty clear that Ko was meeting other women on business trips while he was cheating on Bobby. She was living in her own version of Hollywood, and Bobby had no idea this was happening. Bobby had built a mental castle full of dreams, but reality hit like a storm and blew it to smithereens. Someone showed her photos of Ko having sexual relations with other women at her bachelorette party. Since she lacked the strength to confront the outside world, she retreated to the safety of the restroom, believing that her life was over. Paddy knowing that no one else could comfort her, Bobby's best friend contacted Thiago. Bobby had a dreadful few days when she felt trapped and couldn't find a way to break free. She wanted nothing more than to confront Ko about breaking her heart and explain why her entire life had been upended. Fortunately, Patty and the ego were always by her side, and they helped Bobby see that things were not hopeless and that she needed to start over. She was prepared to move on with her life despite Bobby's warnings that the next steps would be difficult. The man was clearly not worth your time and energy, you realized. Had Marco been unfaithful to Bobby? As a happy coincidence, Bobby met Judge Marco Eladio during Carlos's required testimony because she had left her folder in the courtroom. From Marco's assistant, she received a call requesting her presence at the judge's office to retrieve it. Even though Judge Marco and Bobby's relationship didn't go anywhere, they were bound to cross paths again soon due to the strange bond they shared. It was as expected, while on a road trip with the motorcycling club she had joined after her breakup. In Burning Betrayal, Bobby did meet Marco. Bobby has always had a soft spot for motorcycles, but Keo wasn't exactly a fan and had sold her bike before getting married so she could never ride it again. Nevertheless, after ending her toxic relationship, she immediately went out and bought a bike and joined a club. Even though she noticed that Marco acted quite strangely at times, she and Marco still had a lovely time at the resort. He always managed to leave her in a precarious situation, and she had no idea why. After the road trip, Bobby assumed she would never get in touch with Marco again. However, he called her again, apologized for abruptly abandoning her, and promised to make amends. Bobby began to enjoy his companion's company as they began meeting daily. In order to determine whether she could have a future with him, she contemplated it. Unfortunately, something unforeseen occurred, and Bobby's trust was betrayed once more. Now that Bobby knew Marco was married, she still doesn't know why she kept falling for these dishonest and unethical men. After Marco approached Bobby and told her the truth, Bobby realized her judgment was hasty and that he was not a dishonest man. It was well known that Marco was married to Paula, but he was on the verge of divorcing her because their marriage was failing. For some time, Paula had struggled with mental health issues, becoming pregnant only made matters worse. They had to keep their daughter under constant medical observation after she was born due to a host of complications. Since Marco had no idea what Paula would do next, he had to get a restraining order against her after she attempted to abscond with their daughter from the hospital. Paula showed no signs of improvement despite Marco's best efforts to support her. Marco had informed Paula that he was ready to move on, but she clearly couldn't handle the truth. Hearing his side of the story made Bobby realize that Marco was not a horrible guy who had been plotting Bobby's murder at the time, and she decided to give him another chance. 
Bobby was in an accident while seeing Marco, and she couldn't shake the suspicion that the driver had malicious intent. On top of that, while she and Marco were at that resort on their road trip, someone had secretly recorded them, and she had no idea what their goal was. Upon learning of the incident, Marco promptly consulted his sources to obtain the CCTV footage from the location where Bobby was involved in the accident, as well as to review the license plate. Upon learning that the license plate had been stolen, his suspicions began to rise. At that moment, it hit him, Bobby was probably not completely mistaken. At the start of burning betrayal, Bobby broke into Carlos's office and stole his laptop, which she used to learn that he was being dishonest. Upon his assurance that he had no involvement with the money laundering case, she wanted to start legal proceedings and give DeMarco the laptop, but Thiago warned her that doing so could damage the company's reputation and that they should talk to their own lawyers first. In the end, we found out that Bobby's best friend Thiago and Keo were both involved in the money laundering case. The photos of Keo having sex with other women had been sent to her by Thiago, who wanted her to stay out of his affairs. Thiago intentionally ran over her car in an attempt to frighten her into stopping Bobby from exposing Keo, but that also failed. If Thiago wanted to keep their whole money laundering scheme a secret and avoid jail time, he decided they had to kill Bobby. Keo was waiting for them at a distant spot, and he led Bobby there. Their original plan was to murder her and then bury her in the newly dug grave. Keo was supposed to kill Bobby, according to Diego, but he was unable to bring himself to do it. Who killed Keo and Thiago? At the height of burning betrayal, Thiago shot Kyle, and he died on the spot. After an altercation broke out between Thiago and Marco, a police officer came and shot Thiago to death. Marco, who had placed a tracker on Thiago, arrived at the scene before Thiago could shoot Bobby. Marco realized he would need all the help he could get, so he had already notified the authorities while he was on the road. Upon the conclusion of the nightmare, it finally hit Bobby that Marco loved her deeply and that she could spend the rest of her life with him. Doctors have given the all clear to Marco's daughter. Consequently, she was allowed to leave the hospital. Marco, who had hoped his daughter would recover constantly, must have been relieved to hear the news. Ultimately, Bobby was able to find a man whose would never let her down or betray her, and she felt a sense of relief and contentment.